Yo, come to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about cash flow determination. Cash flow determination is a subtopic under capital budgeting. Capital budgeting is the fourth topic in financial management. Cash flow refers to the total amount of money being transferred into and out of the business. Yeah, and cash flows can be either initial, intermediate, or terminal. And first, we are going to first look at the initial cash flows or initial outlay. Initial outlay or initial cash flows refers to these cash flows that occur at the beginning of an investment. The cash flows that incur the beginning of an investment the money that moves in and out when the investment is just beginning. That's what we refer to as initial outlay or initial cash flows. Initial cash flows include, the first one we have is some costs. Some costs refers to these costs that have been already incurred, usually as the generation of ideas and cash flow estimation stages. Yeah, the costs that have been incurred are the generation of ideas and they should be ignored when calculating for initial outlay. We have things like market research, advertising, counseling. Yeah, those costs that you incur, they cannot be recovered. Yeah, the incurred are the generation of ideas and the estimation of cash flow stages. That's what we call sunk costs and we ignore it when we are calculating for the initial outlay. Another initial cash flow that we have is invoice value or invoice cost. This refers to the cost of the project and it will always increase on the initial outlay. It refers to the cost of the project or the cost of the equipment. Maybe the equipment that you're going to buy, the new machine that you're going to buy. That is what we call the invoice value or the cost. Yeah, it always increases on the initial outlay. We also have incidental or capitalized costs. These are costs that are directly attached to the project. The costs that you incur from the time that you buy the machine or the equipment to the time that the equipment starts working. We have things like insurance, installation, flight, transportation, etc. And they always increase on the initial outlay also opportunity cost opportunity cost refers to what a resource is worth in its next best use like instead of using the money to buy an equipment you can use that same money to buy a building that's what we call opportunity cost instead of going to watch a movie you can use that same time to read a book that's what we call opportunity cost what a resource is worth in its next best use and it always increases on the initial outlay because of the uncertainty another initial cash flow is changes in working capital working capital refers to the capital that is invested in the current assets of the business current assets we have things like receivables cash and then inventory yeah, as a result of starting up a new project, working capital of a firm may either increase or decrease. An increase in working capital will increase on the initial outlay, and a decrease will always decrease on the initial outlay. Lastly, we have incentives. Incentives, these are benefits a firm gets to enjoy as a result of starting up a new project. It can be in form of tax incentives um, and other ben benefits that a farm enjoys. Yeah, and they always reduce on the initial outlay. Let's look at the formative for initial outlay. First is the invoice value or the cost of the equipment, cost of the project or cost of the machine. Yeah, then we add incidental costs. Incidental costs, we have things like installation, flight, insurance, transportation, etc. And after adding the incidental costs, we get the cost of the machine. Yeah, the cost of the machine is invoice value plus incidental costs. 
then we add other costs other costs we have opportunity cost and then increase in working capital then after we list benefits benefits gotten from the project yeah we have things like decrease in working capital and then incentives igi tax incentives and after subtracting you get the total initial outlay yeah and that's the formative of the initial outlay or initial cash flow let's have an example about initial outlay the question says the trace fm into brackets ttf located in gulu city council is planning a mega expansion project which is intended to boost their clientele base in northern uganda the firm intends to import a modern recording equipment which is valued at cost of 175 five thousand dollars that is the invoice value they're saying the equipment is valued at a cost of one hundred seventy five thousand dollars so that is the invoice value but it expects to incur additional costs like insurance transportation installation and import duties amounting to those figures so those are the incidental costs we have insurance transportation installation and then import duties respectively and they're saying the equipment is expected to have a useful life of four years so the life is four years after which it will be sold off for twenty five thousand dollars and that will be the disposal value the company expects to acquire a building worth fifty thousand from the district authority to house the equipment so the business expects to acquire a building worth 50000 to house the equipment but in case they don't get it for free they will have to incur and get that building so it's a cost and an incentive at the same time and has opted to use a server that has been put aside for immediate disposal in the next in the new expansion project the server that has been put aside for immediate disposal and it has a current market value of 16,000 so that is our opportunity cost of $16,000 so our opportunity cost will be $16,000 as a continuation the saying following the application to the Uganda Communication Commission which is UCC in regards to the expansion the government has decided to offer a tax reduction to a tune of 85% on import duties. So that is a tax incentive. Since the station is expected to serve in the local community. It has also requested the district to allocate the company one of the government facilities to house the new project. With the introduction of the new equipment, the firm expects an increment in the level of working capital, an increase in the level of working capital by $12,500 at the beginning of the project. So there is an increase in working capital by $12,500. Revenue is also expected to increase as follows during the life of the project. Expenses are also expected to shoot up by $15,000 in year one and subsequent 10% increment each year. Then the firm expects to be paying interest on loan amounting to $12,500 every year related to the project, while a total of $18,500 was paid out for research. $18,500 was paid out for research that is a sunk cost yeah it is usually a company's policy to accept projects that give a rate of return above 16 percent so the required rate of return is 16 percent and depreciates its equipment at a rate of 25 percent on reducing balance method yeah so the depreciation rate is 25 percent 
and the firm is expected to pay corporation tax of 30% per annum. Then required, they are telling us, determine the net initial outlay TTF requires for the expansion. Yeah, and B, determine cash flows from the proposed expansion project. So in this video, we are going to only calculate for the initial outlay. Yeah, so we are going to calculate for the net initial outlay TTF requires for the expansion. We shall follow the formula for initial outlay. Details amount, the amount is in dollars. Then we shall start with the invoice value, the cost of the project. The cost of the project was $175,000. We put it there. Then we add incidental costs. Incidental costs from the question, we had incidental costs of transportation, which was $5,000. We had insurance, it was $15,000. Installation, it was $25,000. And then import duties, which was $10,000. And the total for incidental costs was $55,000. Yeah, then after adding the incidental costs, we, we get the cost of the equipment. So the cost of the equipment is $175,000 plus $55,000, we get $230,000. And that is the cost of the equipment and is the depreciable value. When we are calculating depreciation, we calculate it on the cost of the equipment. Then we add other costs. From our question, the business was to incur more costs in acquiring the building to house the equipment. And the building was costing $50,000. So we put it there. Then there was an increase in working capital by $12,500. Then we had an opportunity cost of $16,000. When we add the total, the total of other costs is $78,500. And when we add, we get the total cost of $308,000. $8,500. Then we less benefits. This was to be given 85% reduction in the taxes. Yeah, in my next video, we shall see how we got the 8500 But the tax reduction is 8500 Then a free building amounting to $50,000. Yeah, and after subtracting the benefits, we get the net initial outlay that they asked for, which is 250000 And the net initial outlay is $250,000 that they asked for in the question. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends, and watch my next video. We shall be discussing intermediate cash flows.